Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorial C Block. This is episode 212. Um, let me just uh, refactor a little bit. And so let's see what we have on the agenda. Um, main goal is to get towards module production. In order to get that, we need a couple things. Um, we need to get our um, our natural science basically in order, and in order to make that happen, uh, what I'm looking to do is make sure that uh, we have robots ferrying that over. Right, we have uh, some logistic robots over here. Oh, ah, yeah, I just walked outside the network. That's uh, interesting. Um, yeah, so basically, what I want to make sure is that we have uh, enough roboports to get the coverage basically up to, I think, uh, up to here. So that's gonna be, uh, yeah, like four or five, and then a couple to get it up to here. Uh, and then these two combined should be able to get us to the point where we, uh, yeah, where we can actually get everything we need um, uh, to the labs, which are somewhere over here, I guess. Yeah, I should maybe put uh, down some radars, then I could actually zoom in. Um, yeah, so, and. In order to do that, uh, what we were looking at is uh, just raw resource production mostly, because if we, yeah, the way we're looking at it, uh, these guys are are uh, eating a lot of our green circuit production. Um, basically, yeah, resource flow here is kind of low. Um, yeah, ba this is. Yeah, it will be piling up again, but it's it's kind of tough. Um, we have a bunch of red circuits up here. Let's see, and how are we doing over here? Yeah, we don't have any at the ready, which is kind of awkward because we're missing these guys, and these guys are actually missing steel, not red circuits. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's get some steel in there, why not? Um, yeah, so the and and this actually also nah, we have some steel in here, but uh, in this way we could be making a couple of them, but it's not like it's not going very speedily. So it's it's really a point to um, figure out like how we can scale production, or we we've got a. Um, just ferry some by hand still and i think that's actually what i'm about to do so because we also need to figure out like what do we need to actually get here um so i want uh hatchery research that's actually yeah so we have like some advanced i think we need this guy uh, it unlocks modules too, but I think we also need it for the thing we want to do. Because this gives us a, a pretty solid source of raw splinters. And I think, yeah, I, I do want to figure out if we can go ahead and do that. But this is a couple, like, it, it needs quite a lot, right? It needs buffer, vidium. And then more up here probably yeah so it needs the hatchery then the buffer things and then the bite or refrigium no idea how to pronounce that but yeah um and this will will be able to get alien meat which gets alien goo and just raw like raw biter meat which gets us splinters so yeah that's that's gonna be interesting we can do yeah so and and then we can do biter breeding which i don't know doesn't i don't know why this ah uh, yeah so we get yeah the queen one of the queens might die but we'll get biter eggs out of it and then these 
yeah we need to do like once or, or twice to get the first ones and then we should be good yeah we'll we'll need a lot to get there so let's let's take some time and plan out what we need and then we can actually uh yeah go ahead and and try that um let's see so if we let's let's just start um because for these guys we need these guys for which need these guys which need raw splinters right so let's let's figure out how we want to do the raw crystal splinters um, let's make a planner for that so we add a recipe for raw crystal can we search on that nope okay um, apply let's see if we we probably want to do something over here um these are all the the actual meats yeah, let's see one of these so ah, there's actually different ones that we could do but the meat, the small biters are best for the splinters likely so let's figure out how to get it we want to get Let's say we want to get uh, one raw crystal splinter that will need small biters. How are we going to make small biters? We're going to make them, uh, let's see, yeah, breeding and then zoo, right? Probably. So let's. Uh, the zoo also gives. Let's see. So if we do this, right, we butcher them. Yeah, and this eats alien processed meat, which is not this. So, but both both of these actually eat alien processed meat. Um, yeah, and we have the small biter eggs, which probably, yeah, I don't know what, like how you would think that oh yeah there we go so a small biter egg we can hatch into small biters or small biter queens um i wonder if you just can put them on belts or if that's gonna be be problematic that's gonna be interesting <coughs> anyway um like here we have the eggs basically let's assume we're just gonna gonna be able to do this then or do we does it matter like this if we do this then we can reprocess into the actual biters um, so I guess we're gonna be doing like we're gonna be butchering the, the thing so we'll need to figure out if we want to do this or this um let's see bites are small okay let's uh so let's figure this out so here we can like this gives us almost one splinter per biter whereas this gives us oh uh, this actually yes yeah, so we actually want to do this probably because this means that we don't need to actually like we'll need some small biters but this is really to get rid of the biters and this is if you want to farm them so let's let's get rid of this recipe and add one like add a farming recipe okay like this so then we need to get well we need to get small biters in some way but that's gonna be through this chain right so we're gonna farm them as well um yeah but we don't yeah so this is where helmet kind of sucks in a sense but yeah once we get this this is gonna be in a biter refrigerator this as well yeah we'll just need to re refocus refo that but that's just the same input as these guys so we don't really care about that this is 
raw meat. Oh, this is actually raw meat plus alien goo. Okay. So how are we going to make alien goo? Okay. But wasn't there a way like to get the, if we get the, yeah. Okay. These we could get from this, but we probably want to start doing this if we can um because this yeah this seems to this is likely a lot better and these we can make yeah just this is just normal stuff except we need these guys which are from swamp processing okay that's gonna be interesting but we'll we'll be able to to do that probably we'll need to revitalize them in a seed extractor but that's okay yeah yeah this seems like a good way to to uh, make alien bacteria again we can turn them into goo uh, get the raw meat going the raw meat we we do need a little bit of influx for that. Yeah, and for that we can either... Uh, yeah, it makes sense to butcher the, the biters, right? So we can... Like, alternatively, we, we could get that from fish. But since this also gives us a reasonable amount of the splinter that we would have gotten, I think it makes sense to use just use this butchering to actually do it yeah that seems seems okay um yeah so actually if we yeah if we manage to get these then then we're good um and this is all all looks fairly straightforward we're gonna need thin mud water for it. We're gonna need some nutrient pulp. That's gonna be interesting, but we have a, a decent way of producing that. Um, yeah, I think we're we're good actually. Fertilizer. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some some robot stuff to make this happen. But that's that's gonna be okay. Um, yeah. So basically, we're gonna need a lot of a lot of the science to uh, to ha make this happen um, yeah maybe just grab some steel over here and grab some uh, some electronic circuits and we'll we'll use those to make some uh, some robot ports and then we'll just try to make the the setup work because I, I do wanna, I would prefer not to uh, keep walking back and forth. Let's see, we have one at the ready. Let's see, which ones are we missing? These ones, which are me missing red circuits. Let's get to a hundred. Uh, we're also gonna run out of steel there fairly soon. You'll need a couple red circuits as well, so let's get that going. Yeah. Wait, is one of these? No, okay, we are crafting five. It's just that. Oh, this is it has a really low crafting time. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so we'll need some steel there as well. Let's get that in there. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna give us a nice amount of robo ports. We'll we'll be able to get some coverage. Um, I'm purposefully backlogging all of the science because, um, basically we're run we're at the part where uh, a lot of our um, backlogs are like the science backlog is not that useful. It's okay if we we let the We'll, we'll eat it quite quickly once we need more especially the blue science right since there's not that much of a backlog in the first place um, 
yeah, I'm not too uh, worried uh, to get that going. I'll need some steel in there. Do I have some more? I do have some more. Um, yeah, basically getting getting the the roboport set up is is priority number one um, let's see we're we're we ha we're at six roboports now that might be enough to uh, to get us there oh, we'll need some more antenna did we need yeah we did need the red circuits for that so that's good once we need some steel then then i'm a little bit out of luck but this is going to help quite a lot. Yeah, one more. We should be able to make a couple more. Yeah, let's get some circuits in here as well. Yeah, eight. We should be fairly close to being able at least to get... Uh, to get them provided from... Uh, from the, the farming area. Uh, we will need to be a little bit careful with respect to um, making sure that we uh, get enough in the backlog. Yeah, I, I do wanna make sure we prioritize it in the correct way, but I am gonna set that up right. Um, yeah, we'll need some more antenna that needs more steel and I don't have more at the moment. So yeah, let's, let's see how we deal with 11 ports. That should be a decent amount, but I'm not quite sure if it will, will reach it. But yeah, this is backlogging, which is good. Um, how's power doing? Yeah, looking okay. A lot of our production is is going a little bit soft, right? So that's that's uh, makes makes a lot of sense. Um, basically, what I wanna move towards is start doing more of the advanced recipes, making sure to use modules. That way, we can use robots to ferry the ingredients, and then we should be good. And uh, let's see, we wanna go about over here. We have a decent amount of those uh, that thingies in the backlog. Uh, let's see. Somewhere over here. Yeah, that looks nice. There we go. Do we have power there? We do. Yeah, okay. Maybe we actually didn't need like 10 of them. There we do need a small power pole. Um, let's see gonna go down here yeah this looks good now we'll need one more yeah just a little bit of landfill to make sure that we can get it in the, yeah like this Let's do it. Uh, we need a little bit. Let's see. Where are we? Rubber boards. Yeah, over here. Look at this. Uh, it does need uh, one of these guys. Um, yeah, and how are we gonna set this up? Uh, we're gonna give output priority to the left. And this guy is gonna take input priority from the uh, right wait no that's not that's not right i don't think we need input priority here here we don't really care where it comes from right like if it comes from here there's gonna be just a little bit of extra backlog at this point alien goo is looking quite good which is nice we're gonna need more for the the biter refrigiums passive provider over here and an inserter you're gonna be connected to the logistic network and we want to enable you if these guys are smaller than let's say 200 200 should be fine that's a stack um and we also
also want to pick up from here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now let's bring them over to this other area of the map. Let's see, we should have, yeah, we have a decent amount of, of these guys. Uh, we do need to bring them down a little bit, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to care about logistic coverage everywhere right now. As long as we can get somewhere, I'm totally good with this. Let's see. Yeah, let's clear this out a little bit. Yeah. Do we have power? We do have power. Okay, next up. Over here. Let's see. I guess we're gonna clear some of this out. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And then, yeah, over here. That seems okay. And these are missing materials for construction. Oh, interesting. Wait, do we have a ghost somewhere? Where is it? here oh interesting okay well let's just place them oh and we we didn't actually if we place a storage chest then some of our robots should come and get uh, the stuff that we had uh, but we don't have steel for that so let's go grab some steel these guys are, yeah, these are backlog, I guess. Okay, interesting. Um, let's go grab some steel. It's a little bit low. And we'll do a storage chest, let's say over here. Yeah, we're gonna get some, uh, some robots, there are no available, so we're gonna get a little bit of an increase, but that's that's fine. Um, that's what they're here for. Though I should be able to actually... Yeah, let's see, okay. We're, oh, they're missing construction robots, of course. Can, can I handcraft some? Probably not, right? I guess I'm gonna clear. Oh wow, that's interesting. Let's see. So uh, this guy. Then we have uh, these poles, oh, apparently. And then this guy and this guy. It doesn't seem like we missed them before, so I wouldn't see why we'd miss them now. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So, we're gonna do passive provider here, and you are gonna be connected to logistic network enabled when these guys are below uh, 50. Yep, and then you're gonna request um, these guys. 200 seems fine. And they should be on their way. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, we didn't have a limit on this because this was implemented anyway. Okay, so next up, we're gonna install a requester chest up top. And then we should be uh, good to go. Basically, what we can do then is, is just get some of the... Of the... Uh, the so we'll use some of the of that 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 science, right? The the natural science or whatever it's called, uh, to get some of the research that we need for. Uh, yeah, for the for the batch uh, the the biter refrigium things. Okay, so we're gonna set up a two-sided one for this have these guys going yeah, okay i just gave some away 
to the network. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, request her chest, request a bunch of these, 200. Yeah, that's fine. So that is a, a lot, but I guess it, like 200 will only yield a stack of those, right? Uh, let's see. Can we actually make it over there? Oh, we might not. Let's see. Okay, first up. Over there. That seems okay. Yeah, we might need another one. But maybe another one has been crafted by now. Or we could induce the crafting of another one. Let's see, could we fit it over here? Not quite, if we get rid of this guy. No, the pipe's in the way. Okay, uh, we can... Uh, run some underground there we go then we should be able to fit it up here underground belts in the way no should i have done it yeah okay that's better yep there we go and then we need to reconnect some stuff okay yeah and then one more and then we're good we can put that uh, right here okay this should be uh, some of it should be on our way Okay, and that's gonna gonna basically get us uh, all the logistics bots that we need. So yeah, let's see how the logistic. Oh, and we're gonna. Oh yeah, we're go also gonna fix some of that. And uh, let's see. So you're gonna be. Let's see, active provider. It's gonna kill us to do that, but why not? Um. Yeah, um, we'll add a little bit of storage chest. Let's craft some of those, craft a couple of those, a couple of those, a couple of those. We'll need them probably. We'll paint some storage chests at the beginning here. And then we'll use the robots to ferry the copper ore back. And let's see, let's do a couple storage chests, maybe like right here. This seems like a nice place. Yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna use some for reprocessing. And um, yeah, these these are gonna be a little bit slow, right? The level one robots, but um, the consumption speed of everything is gonna be like fairly minimal. See, we're gonna need these first, so let's get on to that. Um Let's see, yeah, so we have some copper reprocessing here. You're gonna do active provider. Um, yeah, we have some more up there, but we can't quite get to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, oh yeah, if we wanna go ahead and go into this part, we'll still need a bunch of, uh, a bunch of robots to do that, uh, or a bunch of robo ports. So we qu can't quite get to that. But like, assigning them to empty this is going to make make sure that we're going to make a, a couple more uh, as long as we need them. So that's that's good. Like, we're we're going to get extras uh, because we need them. Let's see where are we are making the robots. Yeah, over here. So the, the flying frames are slow, but we knew that already, so that's fine. Okay, uh, this seems like a good point to cut. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks!